should I buy a cheap camera to take on holiday for photography? So this is an interesting topic. If you're on this video, you're probably planning to go on holiday and you're looking for cameras to take with you. So what I would say is as a photographer, I have a number of cameras that I use. You want to use the camera that's right for your scenario. So if I was going to be going on holiday, I wouldn't want a massive bulky camera. So you may see the cameras that I use, they're mainly DSLR cameras. So if you were thinking about cameras and you wanted to use it, what would be the best thing to do? So here's a couple of uh, examples. Canon 2000D, 1000D, 550D, older cameras, beginner type cameras, quite big. 5D Mark II even. So with the 5D Mark II, which is like this, would I want that on holiday? It'll take amazing photos, but am I there to take photos or am I there to enjoy myself? Which leads you to the question, should you be looking at additional options? So in terms of cheap cameras, what I'll do is I'll give you a bit of a breakdown just so you know where you are with it. So should I buy cheap cameras is going to be the question. Photography and holiday, they're all linking. So here I'm showing you some examples of cheap cameras. So let's have a look. We'll do this journey together so we can kind of see what would be good, what wouldn't be good and why I would choose certain cameras over other cameras. So let's have a look. I'm going to bring up a few quick searches. Okay, here's a nice Sony Cybershot camera. Now that is a nice camera. You can see it's on a handbag, which means it's fairly small. So probably the same size as your mobile phone. And if you use your mobile phone for photography, you'll know how easy it is to take interesting photos, keep the camera with you everywhere you go. And it gives you options to get photos you wouldn't have otherwise taken. So I made some separate videos about different types of cameras you can buy. And that's kind of more along the lines of the budget you've got in mind. But on this type of camera, if you're going on holiday and you use a small point and shoot camera, you're easily going to get photos. You're going to keep your mobile phone safe because it's not going to be in as an intense environment as the phone, uh, the camera. So that's your first option. I would say that's a very good option. Sony Cybershot. Let's give you a, a quick Sony cyber shot let's do a quick price comparison to see what would be the price for something like that okay there's a nice one let's just check that out and let's go to shopping okay excellent 139.99 which is a decent price however there's nothing wrong with doing a, a 69 pounds one here there's another one here so the thing with these types of cameras is going to be you want to get good photos and most of the time when we're on holiday, we're out and about in daylight and the camera will take good photos in daylight. It's only low light that you have problems with it. So this is a five times optical zoom Sony camera. I'm pricing this as a cheap camera at 69 pounds because that's 70 pounds, which considering, actually I could call it a mid budget, couldn't I? Because it depends what your budget is and it's all theoretical what some people would say is cheap against others. So. That is a good camera that would keep you going for photography. You can have a memory card in there. You can have a battery. You can have additional batteries if you're running low. It will even do 720 video, which think about it. When you do videos for holidays and you're out and about, some of my most treasures, treasured uh, uh, videos are going to be the ones that are from memories. So it's more the time and how you felt there as opposed to the quality of the video. Because we're going to just share it amongst family. You're going to share the videos. You could put it on YouTube and share links privately or unlisted. So that will be enough quality. And it'll kind of bring you back to that memory of being on holiday because you were actually there. Uh, it's slightly different if you're doing it as a profession because you're going to be showing it to people who are into video or to people that weren't there originally and want to see the full experience, which is a totally different thing. So that's one option there we looked at, which is a £70, we'll call it. Let's have a look at another one. So here's a Nikon and it's saying a best uh, budget camera and it's saying under a hundred dollars. So let's check Coolpix Nikon is one. Fujifilm Intax Square is another one. So these are just kind of me reacting to the ones that are there. We'll see what you do. Action cameras. 
I've done a whole separate video about action cameras, so you might find that useful um, in terms of taking them on holiday and what types of things you can get with them. Um, they are fairly cheap, to be honest. You could pick up a decent action camera now for about 25, 30 pounds, and it's really easy to just have wherever you are, and you can just kind of throw them by. You don't have to worry at all, even if it's in like a beach type environment where it's gonna get wet. So that's a quick look at some of the options there. Let me have a last quick one as as we're into it, just so we can compare it against a DSLR. Okay, so that was a Sony. So now DSLR wise, D3500 uh, Nikon camera. It's a DSLR camera, but I think if I was on holiday, that would get in the way. Because think about it, I would have that camera, I'll have a bag for the camera, and then it's kind of getting into that slight territory of where it gets in the way of enjoying your holiday. You want something that will not be intrusive if you're enjoying yourself. If you're there just for photography, then it's fine. But if you're there to enjoy the experience, you want cheap cameras that you can use, but then also put in your pocket and get involved in the activities of the day. So if your friends are all going somewhere, you don't want to be the one with the camera. Or maybe you do, but then that restricts what you can do. What you can't do with the action camera that's in a waterproof case, you could jump in the beach and, you know, be like normal. So that was a quick overview of should I buy a cheap photography camera for holiday. Yes, you should. It all depends on your needs and what you're gonna do on your holiday. I gave you a few examples today. I'll link you to this playlist of cameras and what you can do.